Hello everyone, I'm Joshua on Flippin' Windows and today I'll be showcasing all the new features on Windows 10 has to offer for this free OS. So we'll begin with the start menu. Windows 10 has a new start menu right here as you guys can see. Now Windows 10 has a start menu with features from Windows 7 and also Windows 8 that makes it very intuitive. And just so you guys know that this start menu is very customizable. For one, you have the option to resize to your viewing preference. You can make it taller or shorter. And you can also make it a lot wider too. On your left you have applications showing up that are most often used and also applications that have been recently added that will be placed right here. You have shortcuts such as File Explorer and also Settings amongst other shortcuts that can be added under the PC Settings Properties. The All Apps button right here consists of all apps that were installed on Windows 10 as well as applications that you may have installed through your experience as well. And finding each app can be fairly easy just by clicking on the letters, saving yourself from scrolling further down depending on the number of applications that you've had installed. So for example, if I wanted to find OneDrive, I can click right here and OneDrive will be right there. It's a lot simpler clicking on these shortcuts. You can also pin to start any application or file by right clicking and pin to start. Or you can just click and drag to the tile region as well. Now there's a lot more details about this start menu that I'll discuss in depth in a later video to come. But one more feature I would like to show you guys, if you click back right here, go over here to settings, go to personalization, and then go to, I believe, start. You can actually use the full start screen as you would have in Windows 8.1. Clicking that on, going over here and pressing the Windows key, and you can pretty much use it as you did with Windows 8.1. Now onward to the store, the store is a one-stop shop for music, videos, games, and apps as you guys can see right here. You can also try out an app before you buy it or actually even pick a free one. And just so you guys know, all of your Windows 10 apps will work on all the devices that you guys own. Now let's go ahead and talk about Cortana. Now Cortana is a personal assistant for your PC, giving any amount of reasonable information she has to offer you. She can set reminders as well as take notes and tasks and dictate messages all while chatting with you. Cortana can pretty much find anything on your PC that is local or on the cloud or the web. She's also very good at offering suggestions for your daily life once she gets accustomed to you as well. So overall, if you are in a need of an assistant, then feel free to holler at Cortana anytime. Onward to the browser, Microsoft Edge, which is the first browser that lets you take notes, write, doodle, and highlight directly on the web pages. Using the reading list icon to save your favorites on the articles for later, and then reading them in the reading view view icon. And plus, Cortana is built inside Microsoft Edge to help you do things a lot faster and a lot easier. Windows Hello allows you to sign in with your face, also your fingerprint using a qualified PC. There is anti-spoofing technology, so you can't use a photo since devices using Windows Hello are using infrared technology. This is a great way to input your password from being hacked and also exploited. Now to the Xbox app. Now whether you're new to Xbox or hardcore gamer, Xbox is a place to play games, meet up with friends, and make new ones and rank achievements. Now if you guys don't have an Xbox One, there's not a problem because you don't need one to play apps or play games through the Windows Store like this one right here. Now if you do have an Xbox, all your achievements and activity and game history and friends come with you to your PC when you sign in with the same Microsoft account you are using on your Xbox One. Now within the settings UI, you have a better intuitive way of finding what you need. For example, you can change the way your PC looks under personalization, also how it gets notifications, and also the update management right here as well, also settings for your Microsoft account. Even though I said this much, there are still more options in this that'll make customizing your settings to your specifications. Now what this button does here is gives you the option to add virtual desktops so you can drag programs from one desktop while having other programs in the other desktop. I'll give you a little example right now. If I were to open Internet Explorer, open File Explorer, I have two windows and if I wanted to, I could add a new desktop and back onto Task View, I can put Microsoft Edge on Desktop 2 and then File Explorer on Desktop 1. All that I want to do is have File Explorer in Virtual Desktop 1 and also keep Microsoft Edge in Desktop 2. 
Now Action Center puts important notifications from your windows and your apps right on the taskbar along with quick actions which get you most of your use settings and apps instantly. So if I were to click on Action Center right here we have notifications to where we can either drop down and see them or we can press X to dismiss it or also clear all. You also have the option to use quick actions which is right here at the bottom right to turn on and off the settings and apps that you're likely to use more often like Bluetooth and brightness. So overall when you open Action Center you'll see all your available quick actions right here. Now collapsing them you'll only be able to see the four top picks and that's pretty cool for Action Center. So that's pretty much it for this overview. There are plenty of more features and programs including getting connected faster on the internet, the printer and the Bluetooth. I didn't mention OneDrive on the PC or also more personalization settings, Continuum and also Touch, uh, PC security, email and calendar app and plenty more. If you found this overview for Windows 10 useful, please stay tuned in by subscribing to this YouTube community channel so more entertaining and educational content can be sent your way. I'm Joshua here at Flippin' Windows and hope to see you guys later in the next video. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.